Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. So I thought I'd do something. It's in the area that you know always affects me in winter. It's dry hands. So I don't have any problems with my hands at all. And it's not a big issue, it's just annoying. So this area here tends to stay fine. But then what happens is from the knuckles up into the fingers, it just gets dry for a month or two over the coldest part of winter. And for me, it's because... The temperature changes, the humidity changes, the atmosphere's cold and then you've got that combination of the central heating on, very cold outside, then it might be heating in the cars and the basically the, the moisture in my hands just really starts to become a challenge. So it's not bad. I do get some times though where it might be very visibly dry around here. About a week ago, I was having to constantly wear the gloves and just keep trying to get some moisture in there. And no matter which product I tried, it just wasn't for happening. So if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I absolutely have my favourite products. And I love Seams Hand Cream and Seams Oil. But I'm aware that not everyone else wants to buy it, has access to it, can get a hold of it. So I had to get an Amazon order and... Because of that, I say I had to. It was a birthday gift for someone. And you can't go out because it's locked down. So that's what I mean by I had to. Got to get a gift for a nice birthday present. So while I was doing that, I thought I would buy three random, just high street creams that you can buy quite easily. But the premise was they were three creams for dry hands. So I'm going to use one a day and I've been using the Garnier one today. I've never used these before. Well, that's a lie, actually. I had a little sample of the O'Keeffe's and I did like it and it was a tiny little sample. So I have used it before, but I've not used it for a day as my only hand cream. I've had the little sample in my bag. So just if you've been out and about, maybe in the days when you used to go to restaurants or for coffees, if you washed your hands, you might have used some of the hand cream. So I've not used it properly as in a test day. So I have to say though, only one per day. So this isn't anything scientific. It's not this in-depth comparison. It's just using it as that day's hand cream. And when I say that day's hand cream, I'm basically every time I wash my hands for various reasons, the hand cream goes on after it. If I've been sitting for a while and the hands feel a bit dry, the hand cream goes on. So we could be talking about 10 applications in a day. Yes, that's maybe a lot for some people, not a lot for others, but that's what we're talking about. So I will leave these two until the next consecutive two days. So the Garnier, again, I'm not fussed about telling you what the ingredients are. You can look at all this yourself. I want to tell you about how I got on with it for a day. So this is the Garnier Hand Repair Intensive Restoring Hand Cream. Now it says it's got maple sap extract and glycerin and it's anti-dryness for extra dry skin. To be honest with you, it's the glycerin that you can tell immediately. It's got that slippiness that glycerin's got. And I would say because glycerin is a humectant and it draws the moisture into the skin where you need it, that's what I find very effective about this. So the only Garnier products that I've ever really used have been body. Um, I've also used the micellar water. But apart from that, I'm not really a big Garnier skincare person. So... I didn't know what to think about it. I had, I had an open mind, basically. Now, this is all I'm using each time, maximum. You don't need to use lots and lots of hand cream. And it's got a smell that, to me, is quite reminiscent of that. It's quite perfumey. You know the sort of cherry scent when you get products, maybe when you're a bit younger and you're just starting off? It's got, to me, it's reminiscent of that sort of cherry scent when you're getting your first products, you're introduced into your skincare world. That's how I would describe it anyway. You might see it differently. So I have no problem with a hand product or a body product being a little bit more perfumed, but I'm not keen on it when it's a facial product. So it's got that, again, it feels rich and slidey, and that is the glycerin. And then what I'm doing at the moment, just to be, because I want to get the best use of the product, to be honest with you, is I'm spending the majority of the product applying it where I need it to be which is knuckles and fingers and then what's left that's going on to the hands and at one point last week it just felt as if it ran from here all the way along and up just so dry and it gets you down it's not this again it's not the worst thing in the world it just does get you down and it starts to become quite annoying when you're sitting and your hands feel super dry now that's it it's in 
I can feel the little bit of residue, but it's not greasy and it's not slidey. But without a doubt, what's coming through strong with the Garnier is the glycerin. But it does make sense, as I say, because if glycerin is a humectant and it also is performing that little bit of a barrier too, so it's doing both, then I couldn't ask for any more from a hand cream. So that's day one of using this and I feel as if, I just picked one randomly, I feel as if I started off strong. You can definitely smell the perfume, so if there's anyone around that gets irritated by perfumes and scents, they might be like, oh, you're using that again. Because um, sometimes if you work in an office or I don't know if anyone ever paints your, their nails and someone will be like, oh, you're painting your nails again. Smells. But um, that's the only thing. It's quite a strong perfume. So if you're sensitive to the fragrances on your hands, I'd say it might be a bit nippy if your hands are super sensitive. I'm thankful that I'm not at that stage. But if you don't like a strong scent that really does fill the room, it might be a bit annoying. But... It is doing what I want it to do. It's not fixing it, it's just helping it. So yes, I would say when your hands are feeling super dry and it's getting on your nerves dry, then I think this is a good one because that glycerin is, for me anyway, performing the dual action. It's helping to pull that moisture in and it's creating a bit of a barrier. So day one, Garnier, I like this hand repair. Hi everyone, day two of testing out the hand creams for the super dry hands and just a little update on the Garnier. By the end of the night I was sick of the smell, I can't lie. Um, I don't really like heavily perfumed things and I don't like florals and it changed from being this pleasant sort of cherry scent to actually just smelling like florally perfume to me and I actually was not really enjoying using it and I got a little mild headache which I know is triggered in me by floral scents so it's a really good hand cream but I would say if you don't like scent or you don't want scent or you're sensitive to scent then that would put you off um and I'm talking about floral scent, quite artificial. So at the beginning, I hadn't a problem with it. By the end of the night, I had a mild, very, very mild headache. I do get headaches triggered by some floral perfumes. Sometimes it's air fresheners, things like that. So the product's good, but the scent meant that I was like, oh, no, I don't want to use that again. So that's all. I still think it's a really good cream. Today, I've been using the CeraVe and it's the reparative hand cream. Now, first thing, I didn't look at the ingredients, I'm not looking at the ingredients, right? I'm not doing a big deep analysis. I'm just, like, you know, your average Joe just, okay, I need a hand cream, what do I want? Right, I'll grab this. So I'm just using them as just somebody that's maybe in the chemist, in the supermarket or online, and they're picking products, they're not analyzing them. So first thing I noticed was it felt very, very similar to the Garnier extremely similar but it says it's fragrance free and it's also accepted now this is tiny accepted by the national eczema organization so or is it association either way that's obviously a good thing because if you've got eczema there's a lot of things that can't be tolerated and it felt the same it looked quite similar it had that glycerin feel and then when you looked at the ingredients the, set, the first three or four ingredients were exactly the same as the Garnier. So there's your answer. You might not get as much for your money, but they're almost, they feel identical. The difference being that the CeraVe, there's less of it, obviously, and it's fragrance-free. So for that reason, the CeraVe is now the one that I would decide to use. But um, it could be a coincidence that since I started using them, both of them, Obviously, one day Garnier, one day CeraVe. Um, a lot better. I really do feel it. Obviously, when the weather changes, I'll be completely back to normal. But I do feel that maybe it is the glycerin that's the magic touch. But I also... <laughs> don't ask me why. I went to the supermarket today to get the shopping. And I went early. And I think... I think just when I was lifting a shopping bag, I think maybe I just bruised my finger. You know, sometimes you talk about having a little burst blood vessel. So that's fine. It's a little bit delicate to touch. At one point, my finger felt like it was really... It is a little bit swollen compared to the other one, but not much. But at one point, 
I was in Tesco and I was like, oh, my finger feels weird. And it was feeling quite tight. And then I had a look and I was like, what is that? And it was a big fat finger and it was a bit blue there. And I thought, right, I think I might have pulled something or you do get like a wee burst blood vessel. So it's fine, but you can tell that I've done something like that because it's got that weird bruisey thing. I think it's because I did two supermarkets in one morning and I think when I lifted the bag into the car from the trolley, I think maybe I tweaked something in that finger and then when I in, went into supermarket number two, the finger was like, hey, I don't feel so good. But it was funny because it was only about half seven in the morning, it was early. And I thought, oh, who do I speak to? What? what is this bad? <laughs> Because it was getting bigger and bigger and tighter and tighter. <laughs> and I was thinking, well, can't go to a chemist. Can't phone a doctor. Can't ask anyone. Can't go near anyone. <laughs> oh, well, let's just hope that it stops. And it did. So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But doesn't it look lovely? Lovely purpley finger. So this is now my preference purely because of the lack of fragrance. But to be honest with you, even though they say that they've got different ingredients in them. Like the CeraVe says it's got three essential ceramides and the hyaluronic acid, whereas the Garnier goes for the high performance formula with the maple sap extract. The truth is, I think they've both got glycerin. I, I genuinely think that that is the secret ingredient for me, is the glycerin because it's the humectant and that's what I'm needing. So even though they obviously have their things that they do, I think for me personally, that's the secret ingredient. That's a secret. So tomorrow is the third of those three and we'll see how we get on. And now I can also add to the mix, finger watch. See, it's all thrills here. Okay, on to day three and it is the O'Keeffe's, I think, the hard working hands. We're day three. It's the final day of trying out these hand creams specifically for dry skin. And it's the O'Keeffe's working hands. So they have a little demo picture on the front of extremely dry cracked hands before and after. And then it's quite specific on the packaging that they want you to use a small amount because they say that it can be sticky if you use too much and just apply to the problem areas. They also say that mild stinging or mild stinging rather of severely dry skin can be normal. But obviously if it persists, then stop. They've got... Um, information saying that it's clinically proven to instantly boost your moisture levels, create a protective layer on the skin surface, help prevent further moisture loss and make a difference that you will feel within days. They also say they've got a money back guarantee. So again, this is also another one that's got glycerin way up the list. And uh, I would say the only downside with these ones is that you have to dip your hands into them, which is never as good because Unless you're using a spatula, you're obviously going to get a bit of cross-contamination. And I didn't use a spatula, so that's probably my only criticism, is that it's not ideal to do it this way. I would rather it was either a pump or a tube, but there you go. So I only used a tiny little bit, just where I need it. Oh, hand update as well. Um, the bruise is a lot better today. So it's spreading, but that means it's dispersing, so it should disappear soon. I definitely think that... I must have lifted too heavy a bag. So that was my drama for yesterday. So that's about the amount I used. Just get into the habit again of putting your lids back on. I would say this one feels very similar to the others in the sense that I can feel the glycerin, but it's got more of an oiliness to it. I can feel the oiliness too. And my hands are definitely getting better, but until we change to spring, it's not going to be ideal. So this is the area where... I really need to concentrate it on those knuckles and on those fingers. But compared to a week ago, a big, big difference. But if I look closely, it probably won't pick up on camera, but if I look closely, I can see little bits of dryness. But I know that that's just the time of year, the central heating, the cold air, the atmosphere. So as soon as it starts to warm up and we're into spring, that would be so much better. But... Overall, again, no scent, which I liked. And I know this is a very popular product with a lot of people who do a lot of manual work where their hands really do suffer. So I can't say my hands aren't cracked, so I can't comment on that. But 
it's more oily. I would say if you're looking for, if you like a little bit of residue, I only used a tiny amount, but there's more of a residue with this one. Just, I'm saying an oily residue, but I don't mean that your hand is oily. But um, I would say you can tell that there's more of an oily base in here than the other two. And then purely for my own preferences, having used all three, CeraVe would be the first one I would go to. If the Garnier wasn't scented, it would be my alternate choice. They're pretty much similar to me for what they did, how they performed and how they feel. So the only reason Garnier comes last is the scent. But genuinely, there's not much difference at all in these two. So CeraVe first, O'Keefe's second and Garnier third. But again, Garnier just because I didn't like the scent. Other than that, they're all pretty similar and I would go for O'Keeffe's if I want that little bit of oiliness in the background. But yeah, I think that they are three very effective products for tackling dry skin. I must admit I do use my hand creams a lot. I think it says on the O'Keeffe's you can use it, I mean they were talking about three or four times a day. Yeah, they were saying um, the hand representation photos that you can see here. And they were saying that they were before and after images from two weeks of usage. Cream was applied before bed and three times daily. I reckon, like I said previously, I probably put it on double, possibly triple that. I just put my hand cream on every time I remember, especially when it's drier. And also just after you've washed your hands, just pop your hand cream on. So I could easily be nine, ten times a day. But again, it's what works for you. And for 40 year old hands, they're not faring too bad. I've always said before, I think because I do a lot of treatments and you can't do it at the moment, but a lot of massage, I think that helps too. So I hope you found that interesting. Let me know what your go-tos are specifically for super dry hands. As you know, I still love my seams, but I thought it was important to show you other brands in case, again, you just want to know what's out there. So have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon.